welcome back. Uh, this is the fourth batch of our of awards here. I've got eight more to go, and then one final batch of eight coming up to wrap up the show. Um, we're gonna kick things off right here with our, oh, you know, best moment of the year. Oh, I think this one's gonna be contentious. I'm just saying. We have we need, we need a good fight. Oh, it's not gonna be a fight. Oh, it'll, it'll be peaceful. It's gonna be a hug out. Feelings hug now out. are gonna be hurt. Hug it out. Names Let's are gonna see. be called. Fists are gonna be thrown. Nominees. Oops. Sorry. The final chapter of Brothers: A Tale of Two Sons. That's a moment. That <laughs> was. Now, see, was so, some, I feel that, like I, that was some shit. I feel like at some point we're gonna have to ex- <laughs> we're gonna have shit. to explain some of these moments, though. We might have. We can get there. You call you. You hold your horses. You know. <laughs> we'll no, I'm gonna start all. doing it right now. <laughs> the <Dick> fish uh, <laughs> battle. The last of us. <laughs> we need to pick a moment. But <laughs> good God, uh, moments. We'll come back to that. Um, Bioshock Infinite, the song in the basement. Mm. I think that's a good moment. Damn, I don't remember the song moment. in the basement. So is he? So is he it's talking? Is he talking the guitar scene or the? The songbird related thing. No, he's I'm thinking the, the guitar. guitar. Okay. Oh yeah. yeah. That's what I assumed. So just stop. Like, stop I think the list right now. Like the, that's it. The circle being unbroken. It's that yeah. song. Yeah. The Stanley Parable. <laughs> <laughs> that's all it says. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And then skip the next one. Um, I probably got no books. Saints Row Four. The intro. I know Jason's okay. not voting for that. In case you would like to remember or don't want to miss I could it. almost vote for that based on my situation as I was playing it. Oh, more Bioshock Infinites. I forgot what was that. that situation? So I just remember the very beginning, you're shooting at guys with turbans on, and I was sitting on a plane next to <laughs> a Middle Eastern woman wearing a turban, and she was staring at my computer screen. Whoa. While I'm shooting at these guys. That's not what we were talking it was about. It's very awkward. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and you're going, yeah, die. Yeah. It's like die. die. Why didn't you America. bring America? You should have brought America. that up during the the heinous. This is the, <laughs> yeah. this is the worst I moment. Mean, it's still one. I was laughing still, as I was doing it. Just staring her in the eyes laughing. <laughs> Grabbing him and throwing him in, him in the buildings. Worst moment <laughs> of the podcast. Uh Bioshock Infinite Lighthouses. Again, we're gonna try to keep this. As spoiler free as possible, but it's but it won't happen. Uh, the ending to Blood already... Dragon. <laughs> 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 See that one? I I don't know. I don't know what happened at the end. Look at, look at Ethan. He's so happy. But I uh, I want to know. Assassin's Creed for Black Flag, Abstergo Entertainment. It's a laughable moment of the year. Hey, it's a moment. It, it is a it, moment. It, okay, let's. I mean, we went. I mean, with, it's comedic. Yes. We went with dramatic, comedic, or spoiler moment in games that you'll always remember from this year. So, list just the game. Apparently, no, we didn't follow that rule. Okay. Um, <laughs> just before, we, I don't think we need to get into The Last of Us quite yet, but we will have to narrow that down. We will. Um, anything we can cut. That's it. What? See, I would choose the Lighthouses moment over the song in the basement. It's a nice moment in Bioshock, but... Yeah, I would take. Yeah. yeah, I'd take lighthouses too. I wouldn't. <laughs> well, luckily well, your vote doesn't matter. Remember, <laughs> remember me didn't make it. By the way, oh, thanks man. for letting us use your space. Uh, probably, <laughs> probably black black flag. The upstairs go. I would get rid of that one. Although, I really like yeah. that where that has gone. But that's Saints Row Saints Row intro. I, I think it's it, quite as. I think I take Blood Dragon in. I take oh yeah. It's I don't awesome. think it's quite as strong. Anybody disagree? I don't what? Know what this ending Saints is. Row Four intro. Saints Row Four it intro. It was great. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I wasn't. Yeah, I wasn't as. <laughs> was the ending linked in chat? Yes. I don't want to watch it. Don't okay. watch it. Yeah, don't. Yeah, Aaron, don't watch it. I'm not. Oh, that's it. that's the Blood no, Dragon. Well, ending. I'm gonna watch it. Don't. Damn it, Jordan. Aaron. Don't. Don't look over Turn here. Turn your camera. Right now. Yeah. Turn your computer away. Dickfish battles. Dickfish. Let's see. <laughs> okay. Uh, probably Stanley Parable. <laughs> Nomar says the Dead Space Three lag. That was that was pretty. <laughs> Anybody who was watching it was hilarious. He just kept exploding in front of me due to the lag. Huh. We we were at this part where you had to get through this little tunnel before these oh, spikes yeah. hit you. 
<laughs> and he would get through, but because he was lagging, it would the kill him. Would just kill him. He would it just would... blow up. Yeah. It was, it was great. Fall to pieces. So we, do we need to pick a last of us right. moment before we narrow these down again? I would say, Ethan, your blood dragon moment's the only thing that's like awesome, empowering. All these other ones are kind of and either that's emotional where my or going to lie. Okay. This was a emotionally draining, like <laughs> painful year for gaming. So. <laughs> I feel like the the Bioshock Infinite, the light, the lighthouse. You're talking about the very end of the game. The, a revelation. Yeah. The re- <sighs> It was so confusing, though. Like, I don't, I, I don't clear. I, I guess I remember the scene because it was amazing looking, but I don't remember like why. <laughs> it, like, of everything up there, one, I, I already feel like I, I don't think Bioshock's going to make it because that one was a cool and it was like a kind of like a like screwing with your mind thing, but it wasn't like a oh my god. Like, I didn't like catch my breath and do this with my eyes. You know, uh, yeah, I'm, I mean? with, I'm with Ethan on these that. These other three, it's well, like I didn't do that with brothers. <laughs> The hell's well, wrong with you? <laughs> oh my god! Brother, brothers oh got. My gosh, brothers was a different emotion. I think. Yeah, it was. Okay, so we're gonna but cut, it, we're gonna cut lighthouses. Big. I think everybody is everybody okay. I'm with it? I'm okay. Okay. Gonna right. come back and. Story I like that we anyway. still haven't picked the Last of Us. But we still have okay, that it's moment. Up, okay, La- oh, Last it's, of Us. You can either go with there. like character deaths because there's a there's just a handful of them. All of them. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Or like I would say even the the just the winter. I, I was gonna say winter. winter. That's my. Yeah, I was moment. gonna say winter. Winter. Like you mean right when it starts? Yes. Yeah. yeah. No, just like just the whole well, the whole, damn, the whole winter. damn winter. But I liked right when it started. But right, right when, when it when starts, it started, you're because you're left in this weird moment where like yeah, wait, what happened? Oh, I'm okay with hey, saying what the, happened. The start of it winter. was. I mean, it, yeah, because it was completely unexpected. Um. Okay. Um, so we, <laughs> like, we're, like we, every one of these is so spoilery. <laughs> like two of them are the end, well, I mean, ends we, of games. Last of us, right. last of us is not really spoiler. Um, it's I, a cool moment. I guess I'm, I think, okay, so I'm choosing brothers over the last of us, but I feel like I've got to go. Bro- oh, we've got to go know. brothers See, versus blood dragon for each. I actually don't know that what you guys are talking about, the final chapter. Even, even so, I, I'm, what? Yeah, I'm not gonna spoil. Okay, it, we're not gonna spoil it. But are you referring to? I've, are you referring to? Are you referring to <laughs> the event that happens or the I've mechanic just, that happens? From the mechanic on. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's what I was. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's the the that game. The, the game mechanic. That's what I would call the final. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Who are the so not just matter? the end, not just the end of the game. Yeah, you're like talking the about the last area. Okay. All right. Yeah. I know what you're talking about then. Okay. But um, it's probably that's, sad. That sounds huh? awesome. It's, that sounds awesome. It's okay, yeah. it's it's it is it is incredibly sad, but there's also like perseverance involved. Uh huh. Um, and it'll, just your con- the connection with the characters. Uh, uh, there's no moment stronger. Yeah, it'll just hit you. Uh, unfortunately, okay. I won't ever get to experience this moment because. Because you know what it is, yeah. But man. <laughs> although I don't know, so, uh, Aaron knew what it was too, and I, he said I it's, it's completely it's, different it's, when you play oh, it. Okay, yeah. Okay, do, living it is different than just watching it. Okay. Did you Good. Did you finish Blood Good. Dragon? I did. Okay. Yeah. So so is that like a? Wait, like, wait, I mean, well, like, I want to set this like up. A, yeah. I want to no, set this up Moment, because like fireworks going off. I mean, <laughs> normally Coop goes for he goes for the action. Yeah, it's 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 a struggle because they're they're two very different. Two very different moments. All right, let's go back to the description. Huh. We're going for memorable. That's the only thing you got to work with. Yeah. No, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I just... The fact that it's... I feel the, like I'm going to vomit. <laughs> I think it's the memorable part. Like, I I had kind of forgotten about the ending of Blood Dragon because it's been so long since I played it. I don't know that I'll ever forget what happened in Brothers. It's more It's more mentally scarring. So it sticks okay. with you in that. I, it's more of um, uh, still that whole it made me feel- aspect of being happy that Blood Dragon exists, like the whole thing versus one unique moment from it. But like Blood- I haven't, I haven't beat it, beat it, so I can't. Oh, I, I, I <laughs> wish you guys could see the ending because I understand emotional scar. But here's my, here's my argument for any of this. 2013, 
full of sadness. A lot of people died. Anyone that watched the Game of Thrones or The Walking Dead or any of those, <laughs> everyone died in 2013. Everyone. That should be the theme of 2013. <laughs> The bad guys won just as much, if not more, than the good guys did in 2013. People you loved, people you cared about, people that you sh- you cherished, died. Everyone dies. Eventually. Blood Dragon said, "F that." Blood Dragon <laughs> said, "I have 20 years of happiness from the 80s and the 90s that I want to inject directly into something awesome, and then you climb." onto something awesome and you just live the 80s in a chunk of just i mean talk about emotional scarring it was like a good kind of emotional scarring. like if my brain was messed up it would be a good thing you know what i mean and i just if you want i mean fireworks there was fireworks in a way and it was just in, in the oh <laughs> i know you guys want to be sad i want you to be happy <laughs> I want you to, everybody here's the thing 2013 was when everybody was like, you know, you know that happiness? Um, let's get rid of that. That's super, No one likes that in entertainment. Blood Dragon was like, no, people still like to feel happy, feel good. At the end of that game, I was better. I was a better person. <laughs> I feel like you guys better have been drinking a lot more since playing Brothers. Uh, you seem sadder. There's more rings underneath your eyes. I feel like maybe that sadness has not been the best for you, which is why I think that Blood Dragon's the best moment. In the game. <laughs> it helps so, more people than it hurt. You know. I, I appreciate that argument. Let it sink in because I forgot to actually. I want to mention the other guys that got other moments that got nominated. Um, Devil May Cry's boss fights. Um, low Some good boss fights. Um, yes. <laughs> Some of the story revelations and Zelda: A Link Between Worlds. That was a pretty good story. So. Um, the intro or the intro section to Outlast, um, and then the the attic and Gone Home. So we did not. I, I do saw, want to give a shout out to the intro to Outlast. It was yes, it was terrifying. terrifying. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. And the first time we see Nillen. I just <laughs> I almost said the cover art. <laughs> but I was like, nah, I don't need to mention it. All right, so so remind me again. Uh, hey. re- reread the description of best moment of the year. The word, yeah. Dramatic, comedic, or spoiler moment in games that you'll always remember from this year. Okay. I'm still with Brothers. I'm that way, I, I'm that way too, so, just because, like, I, I want to be happy, Ethan. Like, know what, like, there were, this was the I year that I coined the phrase, fuck you video games, because there were at least <laughs> three or four different times on live streams <laughs> where it, these, the game was taking me through shit I didn't want to go through, but I will also remember most of it. And, I love a good action scene, but in the end, they start blurring together. I will, yeah, I'll side with Ethan on the fact that that was a more enjoyable. <laughs> <laughs> like, like that. I don't you, play just, games, you just, games you just to felt enjoy like, myself. You just felt I like, play games to be sad. You just felt like a badass at the end of that. But that also reminds me of the same way I felt about the end of Gears of War 2, was it? When yeah. you were riding on the back of <laughs> yeah of the uh, well, spoilers of Cole Monroe yeah when you jump on the back of the names when you jump on the back of Cole Monroe <laughs> so I mean I, blood, blood Dragon was basically that that ending Brumax. again for me yeah Brumac that's what it was <laughs> yeah yeah that's that's right I mean Cole Monroe yeah if you haven't Cole beat Mon- Gears of War two Brumac. yet Funny. spoilers I'm sorry but um I'll give it to you guys on Brothers. Okay. But I want us next year to have a happy <laughs> moment of the year and a sad, depressing yeah, when I kill myself moment of the year. As so well. we just spend okay. a moment next year. Like, yeah, we can. Yeah, we can make that happen. All right. Maybe maybe put an asterisk on this one that says you know, <laughs> what, what, happy. this one's for this ha- happy sad. This one sad. For happy. Put a happy, happy face sad. next to one and a sad to the, next to the other. <laughs> okay, it's close. I just think I just think the what you experience in brothers is a little more mentally scarring than what. Then the excitement, <laughs> then the excitement you get from scared. Blood Dragon, so it it sticks in your mind more, <laughs> which is the category more memorable. Best moment of the year: Brothers: A Tale of Two Sons, the Runners Up, The Last of, of Us, the, the and brothers. Blood Dragon. Yes, that was that was. As so you take a sip of that beer, <laughs> 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 best moment of the year. Uh, I'm glad that's over. On to happier things: the For the Kids Award. <laughs> brothers <laughs> brothers Taylor. and blood dragon and outlast blood dragon. <laughs> what's and remember me what's the description of this this one for the kids i don't know where you're going but i don't know how this is 
best cross generational game that you enjoy playing with the next generation? Generations. generations. <laughs> huh, okay. While watching Star Trek While Generations. Generations. <laughs> no. Yeah. Who is the next cool. generation? How old are they? Ten now? I think they're twenty. Ooh, I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like, like doing anything with those people. Uh, yeah, nominees are Disney Infinity. <laughs> You guys have Lego, nephews? Marvel, superheroes. <laughs> I hate all of them. <laughs> I'll talk to my family. I don't talk to Super anybody. Super Mario 3D World. We should get somebody that can actually type to do this next year. No, oh, you're doing uh, fine. Skylander Justin. Swap Force. You're doing great. You're doing a good job. You're doing real good. There you go. Good enough. Smart <laughs> enough. <laughs> Other going. nominees uh, that did not receive votes. Uh, I, I appreciate the fact that this game keeps showing up positively and negatively. Uh, Marvel Heroes. <laughs> um, and <laughs> and animal, animal Crossing New Leaf. Take and it Grand Theft Took Auto 5. What about uh, Nino Cooney? It's a colorful game. Yeah. Yeah. It's a very. Uh, I don't think my nephew. I don't think my nephew game. would. Yeah, I don't think he would enjoy. There is an accept, I would say there's an accessibility factor here because yeah, I other, had trouble figuring, yeah. <laughs> like figuring out. Yeah, you have to like read a book inside okay. that game mm-hmm. to understand how to yeah. play that game, right? Yeah. I didn't hear any Skylanders buzz this year, so I kind of want it. I was gonna say I feel like we should uh, pick between Skylanders and Disney Infinity. Yeah. I feel like my nephews Disney's just had a big good. blowout for those the Swap Force, yeah. Skylanders. I mean, is that a bigger deal? I don't. Yeah. Than the Disney Infinity stuff, Skylanders the, I, has the longevity of I've never being around. Heard, long, yeah, uh, the Disney Infinity. No, <laughs> it, I, I it mean, just came think, out I'm recently. I'm trying to think if my okay, no, then no, then my brother would have bought the Skylanders thing, and that's what we have. So why would we, you know, why would we buy the Disney Infinity um, thing? I'd say Zelda loses out just because it's lack of cooperative nature. You can't really play it with somebody. Like it's, I think it's accessible for the kids for sure. I think me and my nephew could have a ton of fun with that Lego Marvel superheroes game. Like. Man, I en- I en- really enjoy the Lego games I though. In that game. They have they have kind of a an age limit cuz I've tried playing the Lego games with my yeah. daughter and she can't she can't process enough what to do yet yeah. to play one of those with me. I'm talking about like my 12, 13 yeah. year old. I, I would older, say older like that, the older one. Well, that 8 to 12, 7 mm-hmm. to 12 range. Like All right. Once they've got base gaming just kills down. So the base I'm with you. Yeah, okay. the life essential know. skills. So we're, yeah, really, it's do we cut Skylanders or Disney Infinity, and then huh. we can huh. have our conversation. I mean, I haven't heard anything. I'm excited about Disney Infinity. I think Skylanders has got the, just the, edge. the right. yeah, just because it came out before it. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm give okay. it another year. We'll Disney s- Infinity. We'll make we'll that have, decision out of complete we'll have, ignorance. You just because have Skylanders isn't going to win. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean uh, Disney Infinity. You just have the character familiarity. But yeah, but it might not be better. I don't know. Okay. Once they start rolling out movies, the winner for is that the game. last. Yeah, <laughs> the Last of Us wins. Teach you how to be a good father. <laughs> we, we had a conversation to speed up this one. We had a conversation earlier about <laughs> Super Mario 3D World and how for people to have fun playing that game together, you need to yep. be on an equal level. Yeah. And if you're a better gamer than oh, the yeah. child you're playing with, do you want to swap in Rayman for that? Then. <laughs> no. Okay. okay. That's fine. Because I Ray, my, my, Ray gut, Man's my, <laughs> my gut was also saying not. So I think Lego I think, Marvel. I think this works. All right, Rayman's too fringe. For the kids award goes to Lego Marvel Superheroes runners up Super Mario 3D World and Skylander Swap Force. Ethan, I don't even think you had to <laughs> say anything on that one. No, I don't like kids. What do you no, play? With, what do you play fine, with your kids? Fine. Games are for grown-ups. <laughs> <laughs> Video games are an art. They're for adults. They have to be sad. Kids don't want to see sad games. <laughs> Everyone has to die in every video Everyone game ever. Die. This Someone is not a video game. No sad, one died at the end. Sad I'm not death. mentally scarred. <laughs> you're not. You're not mentally scarred. Why are you playing? Why are you playing games? Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, next geez. up, the most addictive game. I don't know if that was, that was a grunt of, of uh, satisfaction. Uh, 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 Shots fired. Uh, Tiny Death Star. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who put that on the list? Did I get two votes? Yeah, you know, it sure no, did, that was, Aaron. That's one. 
Oh, it only got one. Oh, uh, I didn't vote, so that's me. <laughs> Fucking all <laughs> up. But it's just like a reskin of Tiny Towers. Shut, like up, the game, shut, shut up! The game shut up! Shut up! Already up. exists. Cookie Clicker Go has also stuff. been nominated. <laughs> Cookie Wars. Clicker. And it's just all they did was they Kingdom <laughs> Rush. No, stop. <laughs> Kingdom Rush Frontiers. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I might get hit. Wow. <laughs> That was an addictive game. Jeez, the <laughs> reaction to that. Ridiculous Trying to get fishing. it off the list. Cookie Clicker has to win. Two of us are playing it right now. <laughs> Two of, load I like up. how these are mobile. Yeah, most of these are mobile games. Load up Cookie Clicker right now, Jordan. <laughs> uh, NBA 2K14, <laughs> my career mode. <laughs> hey, it, 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 has, it, has, <laughs> it has taken over some of our friends. Let's, we okay. cannot deny it. Starbound. Uh, and uh, take a drink. Take a shot. Animal Crossing New Leaf. Take a shot. <laughs> um, also nominated, uh, Nuclear Throne, Rogue Legacy, and the Pokemons. The Pokemons. Uh, Pokemon. Actually, surprised Rogue Legacy didn't look for this group. Group didn't get a vote, but we yeah. will move on from there. Oh man, this is. Uh, I think what, I, I think help what got it for me was I don't know if it was good, but it was still addicting regardless of that. Whereas Rogue Legacy was good and it was addicting. So, um, can you confirm Kingdom Rush? Frontiers is a 2013 release, just because I don't know about it. That we're all gonna um, this up now. and it's confusing. So, well, I, I'm not even. I'm not going to vote for it. Okay, I just put that it in there, so I wouldn't even put it in there. Then see ya. Oh man, Cookie Clicker. Cookie Clicker. <laughs> two two guys are playing it right now. <laughs> They've got it running on their laptops. And they're not even That's playing it. Like Coop's it just plays got, itself. Coop's, huh? Coop has it running <laughs> on his laptop. Yeah, get to that I'm Cthulhu gonna Lunas. What I'm gonna, I'm gonna, Animal <laughs> Crossing New Leaf Kingdom. We've got the secret. <laughs> oh my god! Just now announced. Yeah. Exclusive. Oh, I'm playing it now night. too. Ethan's got it up. Okay. I think we, I think we know what the winner is. <laughs> I've baked 2.5 trillion cookies. I don't even want to hear <laughs> Jordan talk, but I'm gonna go ahead and remove Tiny Death Star. Uh, try move it. Try yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. Try it. moving the clock it. forward. You'll, you'll on see your, where I'm going on I your device. A, you have a plan. I have a plan. Oh my god! Yes. He's gonna sneak it back. No, I'd sacrifice it to say something else. <laughs> 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 All right, NBA 2K14. I'd get rid of that. Right? Although I completely understand that. <laughs> Do we want to get rid of Cookie Clicker or Ridiculous Fishing? Because I don't think we're getting rid of Starbound. I am going. To, I would give up. Ridiculous fishing simply because Cookie Clicker is hilarious. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> cookie Clicker. See, so I don't know, man. Is that an argument? Is that an argument? Is, I mean, I may be. I don't know. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. I, I like that He's game. Making a I good like point. ridiculous fishing. Ridiculous I, I, I fishing is fun, yeah. which is what makes people play it. Cookie Clicker yeah. is stupid, but we're still it's playing it. Yeah. So that is the true nature of addictive. addictive. That's, that's, yeah. Like, remember, remember, yeah. Remember, remember that line. <laughs> okay. They're gonna, they're gonna try and push animal can crossing, we roll, crossing can we roll this the back? land. That's not what we're doing. Oh yeah. <laughs> what what Jordan? It no yeah no. If if that's where we're going, man, Animal Crossing like it's right up there with Farmville. Like you you click so you can wait, and then once there's fifteen minutes no have passed, in Animal Crossing. you click you click again. But, but that one's exactly what you're you doing. That one you're actively <laughs> clicking. Like you decide when to stop clicking. Oh, there so was, you decide when to stop. There playing. was a lot of clicking that happened to get to the point where but, I don't have to click. <laughs> <laughs> but Animal Crossing, no, you you are waiting. Like at some point, you just run out of stuff to do, and so, okay, well, but you're gonna check back in an hour. You're we're, gonna schedule. We're talking you're gonna schedule your day around because those shops close at nine o'clock. Yeah, we were talking about it. <laughs> so, guys, I, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get home. Get get into my town before the shops close. <laughs> Only one of these games. You guys hear me clicking? Has a yeah. Had yeah. A, <laughs> only okay, one of these okay, games. <laughs> one of these games had a dog named Bones. Okay, had, and that makes had, it had had, had a dog named Bones. And in his honor, I think we should give this to Animal Crossing. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm fine giving it to Animal Crossing. This is not a this is not a feel good category. Like <laughs> this is not a feel good <laughs> most addictive game. That's not a good thing. <laughs> if Animal Crossing wins, everybody has to do five shots. <laughs> <laughs> Which game? Unless would you, Coop, you really just don't really want it to to win an award, then. <laughs> no, no, actually, 
And honestly, if you guys are scheduling your day around Animal Crossing, <clears throat> that's a level of addictiveness past me having cookie clicker running. That's the reason I like the tiny tower thing. I played that game for like a day or uh, two. I'm just com- I'm comparing longevity between my Animal Crossing addiction and my cookie. Clicker. Yeah, no, you've been playing yeah, that for a long too. time. Eventually, we're gonna figure out what what the depth is of this game, and then we'll stop playing. And the, it. Reason, care. the reason I pre- pressed this one over previous Animal Crossings too is just the online stuff and everything else with the 3ds and, and that the I don't know the just. I feel like Cookie Clicker and Animal Crossing are the two. And, Those are my two. And they, um, the pervasiveness of both of them. But I feel like Animal Crossing even hit a, they, it hit, there was some fervor about it. Like I was just always reading about it beyond playing it. So I feel like Starbound this year maybe could reach that addictiveness. But at the moment with them, like resetting characters. Yeah. And. I agree. Content still needing to be added to it. I have not become truly addicted to playing that game. No. Did Animal Crossing win? Yeah. Animal Crossing give it, won. Give it. <laughs> Never say that I didn't press an agenda. <laughs> I mean. I'll drink to that. <laughs> now is the time to say that these awards are fixed. <laughs> <laughs> Most addictive game goes to Animal Crossing New Leaf. Runners up Cookie Clicker and Starbound. Five shots. Um, <laughs> that's all you need to play. This, six, was, not, six. this was not the Click most fun said the title game too. category. This was the most Thanks addictive for, hey, game. Can you let it, let it breathe for like 60 seconds before you bring it down? <laughs> it's a moment. Come on. <laughs> Like I don't I care. So I'm glad I never played an Animal Crossing I don't game because care about anything <laughs> because else that man, happens now. Worst moment, Jordan shitting all over <laughs> <your> Animal Crossing. <laughs> no, that is just the, that is the right kind of game that would suck me in and waste so much of my time. And that's waste what it did. So much of my time. Next up, the expansion or downloadable content of the year. Ooh, I also like that we're talking about continues. expansions now again. Still. They're back, man. They are back. 2013 was the year of the expansion. Uh, not We're all many, excited. Nominee, nominees. XCOM. Enemy Within. Mm-hmm. Yep. Hey. I know what I'm fighting for. Dragonborn. Sky, for Dragon's Skyrim. Dogma? Uh, da, da, da. The Citadel. For Hell uh, yeah. <laughs> Mass Effect 3. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting my knife out for this one, guys. Uh, Star Trek Online. Why am I the closest to join? <laughs> yeah. What do they add? It's, it's, a it's fine. I get a, good, I get a long reach. Yeah, long reach. Go for Coop first. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some Blood, time to run. Blood Dragon. That's so weird. Man, it's going to be a fight. <laughs> is that really an expansion? Actually, I think Ethan's going to fight with himself. It's DLC. Yeah, I'm going to fight with myself. It's, it's, not, DLC. Kind of. it's like a standalone. It's DLC. But a standalone DLC, I guess. Yeah. Or expansion, or yeah, it's yeah. it's. But you don't need I Far Cry Three to play it. Yeah, Saints Row Four. Mm. Well, I think you it's, just download it. Yeah, I feel like you an ex- buy it. I feel like an expansion Shit. has to. You have to have the previous yeah, game you to play. To, yeah. Correct. Do you want to disqualify? Well, let me, I mean, look, let me at, look at the let me finish what I'm doing. Let's finish the list. <laughs> <laughs> Borderlands Two, Tiny Tina. I mean, I, I still feel like the way the way Borderlands Two handles some of that stuff that could be all standalone too. I think it's. But like, you still have to own Borderlands to play it. Technically, you do, but, but they could have technically could have made, made it. They could so have made that, that happen with Far Cry. Yeah, like we just praised Blood Dragon for not forcing you to pl- have Far Cry Three first to play it. It seems right. kind of weird to then punish it. I guess after the fact. Um, I don't know. Yeah, that's true. Expansions that didn't make it: Dragon's Dogma, Dark Charisma, Dark Dark Arisen. Jesus, I made a word. <laughs> uh, awesome, not Star Storm, and New Super Luigi U. <laughs> Who oh boy. Um, mm. Ethan, I feel like you need to fight with yourself here. Um, <laughs> I don't think... Okay. Thanks, Josh. Thanks for uh, nominating things and voting for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Did anybody play Saints Save Christmas? I can't. I missed the guy. No. I can't imagine. Notoriously, can't Saints Row DLC kind of sucks. Yep. Especially yeah. among this among this I, company. I like the idea of it, but it's it's usually not great. There you go. That? Doing that again. <laughs> It's, the, it's it's not gonna win, but I did. I watched Volition stream the Saints Save Christmas, and there are a lot of funny jokes in there. But it's essentially it plays like it plays like Saints Row Four, oh. you know, just the Christmas theme. Can we nominate Saints Row Four as the expansion of the year? See what I did? <laughs> because it was. Some, <laughs> I see what you did. <laughs> uh, a little, uh, that might win that. 
Actually, no, it won't. With a, with I these. don't think it would. Star, Star Trek won't go away. Did you see that? I made fun of Josh <laughs> and Photoshop freaked the out. Next generation. Okay. Oh man. Okay, we're done. This is these are the these are the them. Um, pick the one you like. We're gonna move on. <laughs> mm. Fuck. I guess, I guess. I can't speak to Citadel, but I only heard awesome things about it. <laughs> so awesome. <laughs> I, like I, that. That's what I kept hearing. I just went through and watched like every YouTube video I could find of every single conversation that, that could possibly happen between every character at the party. Because unfortunately, in my Mass Effect 3 save, Kasumi's dead. The, uh, the thief. Oh, man. Yeah, spoilers for me. <laughs> so <laughs> she she is the funniest person because she's not at the party because she's cloaked the entire time. So she'll just uncloak to say something funny and then and then so she kind of just like appears, says something funny, and then and then is gone again. At one point she's going through your underwear drawer. So if you're male shepherd, you know, she says something about boxes or briefs. Uh. And then she's <laughs> then she says something if you're female shepherd about how sexy your underwear is. Oh, I see where you're... Yeah, that oh, does man. sound awesome. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, man. Um, I love those characters. Yes. They're my friends. <laughs> uh, sadly, Mor- I, uh, Morden is not there. Does, is Dragonborn <laughs> is that exceptional, or is that just kind of more? It's more... I, I mean, compared to some of these, I mean, it was pretty good, I'm, but... It, it, I'm edging towards compared dropping... Compared to some of these, it wasn't the okay. breakaway that... Yeah, I mean... I liked it though. You so know, sounds better than the underwear simulator that you got with Mass Effect Three. <laughs> I think it's between Mass Effect Three. <laughs> that that was just a funny a funny moment with Kasumi. <laughs> I think it's between Mass Effect Three and Borderlands Two for the final spot uh, for me. But I would uh, say Borderlands Two was great. That Tiny DS- Tina DLC was more than you could have hoped for. I like the idea behind it. The whole like D and D. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, I liked that it had a different style than the rest of the game. It seemed like it's got. Hey, wins the tiebreaker vote for. But I didn't play Mass yeah. Effect Three, so yeah. I can't really. I didn't play the Citadel. The whole thing is just awesome. One line. I hear it's Gifford's. Uh, <laughs> Shepard, someone's trying to kill you. <laughs> You're doing uh, such a terrible job at selling yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> Gifford and JP are both. I mean, is it fa- is it just Citadel. fan service? Yeah, yeah. It's not like ex- an exceptional story. It's fan service. Yeah. Versus, okay. I'd almost, I'd almost go to Borderlands two at that point. So, I'm gonna drop Mass Effect three and chat. You're hey, take you know off? what? Sorry, chat. The yeah. list entirely. Yeah, yeah those. Yeah. yeah. We well, only get three, man. <laughs> <laughs> got ugly. For, got ugly uh. for Jordan. <laughs> man. <sighs> Okay. It's the only thing I was going to fight I feel like Ethan for. needs to have a conversation with himself and uh, let us know what he's going to Okay. I don't think support. I don't think Blood Dragons should be on this list. I don't think it counts. I, I don't think I Blood think Dragons Blood DLC. Dragon, I, think it's a, I, I think it's a complete game. It was game. good as a standalone. That's why I'm almost like, I know it all. it's all inclusive, but those other two added to the games that they already had. So to me, Far Cry 3 was good, but it feels more standalone. I In my mind, I think that games... You get more points if you can take a base game and enhance it with your DLC, as far as I'm concerned. Okay. So that is my ar- argument against Blood Dragon. Um, man. So yeah. he's so no Blood Dragon. So, so Blood Dragon. I wouldn't say Blood Dragon. I, I would say that would be third place, if anything. It was good, but yeah, I think it's third place. Um, okay. I like, enemy within. I like Blood Dragon. Completely reinvigorated <laughs> uh, Enemy Unknown. Completely reinvigorated it. Tiny, T- Tiny Tina added some some more to it. It was really well done, but I mean, you got to look at so Tiny Tina maybe added eight to ten hours. Mm-hmm. Uh, XCon added probably forty. I mean, you're gonna play the game again. You know, I mean, there was so much to it. New levels, uh, new equipment, a whole new faction you were fighting. I mean, it See, made you want to play that game again. It's a different kind of game though. Adding forty hours to a first person shooter would be ridiculous content. Wise. Oh yeah, definitely. But I'm just looking at like if, if you have to break it down to value. Um, I mean, you sold me on Enemy Within a couple months ago, so my my vote because I know he loves all three of these. <laughs> my vote is wherever Ethan's yeah. inner battle lies. 
I was going to say, and, and, and to me it also represents, because Tiny Tina, like it was good, it was well done, but Enemy Within represents what DLC should be. I mean, that's what people should do with DLC. That's how DLC works best. They took time on it. You spend a little bit more money on it than when you, you would for most, but it wasn't a cash grab. They gave you good stuff. I'm still cook. I'm still clicking cookies. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best ending to what you said. Completely, I'm gonna place. Completely related. I'm gonna place a weird argument here against Far Cry Three Blood Dragon not being the winner, but striking it from this list and replacing it with Citadel, just because we keep saying it's standalone and yeah. it's not expansion DLC. That, I mean, that was my initial response. But so I don't if know. that's how we feel about it, why leave it on? I don't feel that way. I feel like, you the, feel like in the spirit, it still works. Like it's. I get. I get Justin's would, point to where. That, do you feel that way? Just because I want Citadel to be on the list, I don't hate you that much. <laughs> I get Justin's point to where they like, could have. More, they I could want, have sold it as they, DLC. They could have. and just launched it yep. from the start screen different separately but they chose to pull it out so that you know people could buy it that didn't have which is probably smart on their part and hell i want okay i mean yeah i mean i want more of them i feel like you know you look at the uh the the washington george washington assassin's creed 3 stuff like there it that, starts to inch towards towards a like a reskinning of the game yeah like, i know what you're talking like about like there's a starts to get a blurry line uh, I feel like in the spirit, it, it still works. But that's the one that we've already marked off. So I'm asking, are, are we enemy within or are we tiny Tina? I'm enemy, enemy within. within. All right. All I've got to do is ask the questions. <laughs> Get my answers. Uh, the Citadel loses. That's all you need to know. <laughs> <laughs> Broke Jordan. Oh, it's coming out of his nose. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even game of the year yet. <laughs> uh, expansion or DLC of the year goes to XCOM Enemy Within, Runners Up, Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon, and Borderlands 2 Tiny Tina. Uh, dungeon something, right? And notably not on uh, the list, yeah. Citadel. I, I, <laughs> Honorable we mention. can make these jokes since Mass Effect 3 won game of the year last year. I really don't yeah. feel bad. So, um, it's doing fine. It's, it'll, it'll be okay. Uh, all right. Oh, suddenly remember, uh, we got to get, you guys need to leave right now. Okay. Right. <laughs> Office is closed. <laughs> Just remembered. Closed to jerks. <laughs> Shutting it down. <laughs> All right, another small category. Uh, best looking game. That's oh, so small. Stuff. It actually wasn't. <coughs> so different different types of games this year than. Uh, actually, this might not be as contentious as I thought. The nominees are The Last of Us. I don't know if you've heard of. Is that this best game. looking on a console or on the PC? <laughs> <laughs> let that, let that, joke let that hang. hang. <laughs> I think it could be either. Just best looking game. I would say so. That. The best version of that game. <laughs> Which game? Bioshock Infinite. I'll say The Last of Us, even though being on a console, you, you forget it's it. on a console. Battlefield Four. You're too busy Wham. crying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your eyes are all teary, so you can't see clear. <laughs> Tomb Raider. Beyond <laughs> Not Two cool, Souls. Matt. That was nice of you guys. Who played that? Uh, Rayman Legends. I thought Andy played that. Yeah. Nino Kuni. I, I, yeah. I don't want to play it. I just haven't gotten to yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Not yeah. 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 Hell yeah. yeah. Nino Kuni. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get too hyped up and then it loses. I know. I feel like yeah, I feel like it will lose now. Like All right. Justin will make sure it's off the list first. Just, first just because I list. endorsed it. Nino Cooney. So let's remove Nino Cooney right now. <laughs> and Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. Other potential nominees were X Rebirth, NBA 2K14, Arma 3, Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon, Grand Theft Auto 5, DMC Devil May Cry, Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Call of War as Gunslinger. Outlast, Eldritch, Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag, Super Mario 3D World, Wind Waker HD, Dragon's Crown, and Gone Home. And New Wait, Eldritch was on there? And yeah. Far Cry 3 yeah, Blood Dragon. Did we Far think Cry it was good looking or was unique? 
best looking. Best style, best graphics, most oh, technically style. impressive. Okay, okay. Man, I would have put, put, put Dragon's, that. I this, put dragon's Crown like on here for that. Words that. It could be a game dragon's that just looks look super damn good, or you just like the best, way it looks. Best style, best graphics, most technically impressive, impressive you pick. Unless it's Nino okay. Cooney's, because it's going to lose. I think we should write <laughs> that first. <laughs> Studio Ghibli, I, guys. I no, mean, I, I've got... Okay, I'm going to just throw play an asshole card, card here, but Beyond Two Souls can just... I don't care. <laughs> I don't care Defoe. about that either. I don't think it'll win. It's still too weird. Like, I haven't seen it. It's it's I, impressive, but it's still weird. It's a good-looking game. It has but... the best-looking Willem Dafoe I've ever seen in a video game. <laughs> <laughs> Even the re- real Willem Dafoe game. <laughs> Which you know the weird thing is is after that like game came out and I like Willem Dafoe but then I was in a bar and there was a movie of him on and he plays some weird stuff man he is like in everything weird and then look up the movie Antichrist don't watch it but look it up <laughs> it is effed up man Thank you. that's for that Ethan that's all I got <laughs> Willem Dafoe Willem Dafoe <laughs> Willem Dafoe best looking game Willem of the Dafoe. year Bird watching Bird watching um, 2013. <laughs> The best looking. <laughs> um, I could cut. So who's played Battlefield Four? No, I haven't had to play it, but I mean, I've had watched. Had to yeah, play it. <laughs> but I have watched videos and mm-hmm. things being destroyed, mm. jets flying by, sixty-four players on like, on like a PC. There's so much stuff going on, and the game still just looks chaotic and good mm-hmm. when it's working, yeah. I guess. <laughs> But yeah, it, it looks good. It doesn't have style, though. You know, it, I mean, it, 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 you know, some of these have more style. It's got more gonna, realistic. It's kind of most and realistic. It, and it's competition. Yeah. I got to cut Tomb Raider. Yeah, I was going to I was going to say cut Tomb Raider. But, <laughs> it has well, best, we, best looking be hair, funny. but the rest of the game is it's good. It's, it's all right looking. The rest of the game. Seeing corpses everywhere is not my idea of best. And I want to <laughs> cut Brothers and Nino Cooney. I want to cut Brothers <laughs> I kind of don't want to cut Nino Cooney as much as I said. No Nino Cooney. It look I I like the style of that game. I I like the style. I mean, it sounds it sounds really picky, but they were trying to pull off that whole animation style. But going going back and forth from the the actual animation to the end game stuff and seeing the it, because it's not completely yeah. seamless. I you know they didn't pull it off in my opinion. <laughs> so it's still yeah. beautiful, but like for what it was going for. I could also. Uh, oh man! When we look at these five, though, I don't. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. That's why I started looking at my other two options because I would, I would take Nino Cooney over Rayman and Battlefield. But that's because I'm a biased. Ah, see, I loved. Ray- I didn't play a lot of Rayman, but I love that. I like. Rayman. I love that style, but they didn't. What if we go set like set pieces? I mean, because Bioshock Infinite definitely had like. Just yeah, those I mean, like it, it had some really like, like you know, catch your breath. Doors open like, up and you I walk the out and, then, and, and you, you just know, stand can... there for a minute, just looking at everything. Look at the I can support that. Floating. Well, it sounds like no one yeah. wants bio- Battlefield Four. <laughs> can over Battlefield Four? Else. We can yeah, cut we, that for sure. We can drop it. And then what is the argument? Rayman versus Nino Cooney. Yeah. Rayman's a damn beautiful game. I think uh, I would have rather had Dragon's Crown on. And it doesn't have your Nino Cooney problem, I guess. <laughs> yeah, Dragon's I would, I would vote for Dragon's Crown over Rayman. I need to pull up a screenshot of Rayman Legends. I'm trying to remember it. Dragon's. Uh, here's the th- I've first, got first, issues first, with Dragon's Crown. There, there's a thing with okay, so with Rayman Origins, I was really blown away with it, but like, and then going up a console, going up to HD a little bit with Rayman Legends, it just didn't. It didn't. Doesn't pop as. Yeah, it was something. hard. Yeah, it didn't. It didn't impact as as strongly. I, I made the mistake. I played Rayman Origins on the Wii, so it. It just looks like a game. It's yeah. like a Rayman game. But so then when I played Legends, it just that's looks... A screen, that's a screenshot from the game. It looks gr- great huh. Yeah. Wow. to me. That's the, that's the way it hit me. I could see how if you played it like on PC or something. What, what's, your, what's your three? Last of Us, Bioshock, and then... <laughs> I, I would not vote Dragon's Crown, but... It, Okay. It'd be Rayman or Nino Cooney, and I was starting to get away from Nino Cooney simply okay. because of the seamlessness seamlessness you mentioned. How it wasn't like you watch the animation and you're like, oh, that's yeah. good, that's Studio Ghibli, yeah. and then you go to Ghibli, Giblets, 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 and then you go to Rayman. Rayman Legends like is like start to finish. The Nino Cooney thing. Would you rather have been like all in game? Yeah. What's the problem? Yeah. Yeah, there was there was. He just it didn't was like the, the cartoon. It was the, tra- the there was a there was a 
the seamlessness wasn't there, and it, so I got taken out of it for a split second. See, I was I love that because that was the that was the Studio Ghibli like, like Ghibli. Yeah, like <laughs> <laughs> New Leaf. Like Ghibli. Yeah, like we're involved in this, so we're just gonna animate out. Yeah, no, the entire I, entire sequence. I'm just saying, I saw what they're going for, but it. That's what sticks out in my mind when, like, Rayman is seamless, Dragon's Cloud. I feel, like, I feel like the more I try and argue it, the more you, the will, more you, push you will try and argue it away. <laughs> I'm just happy you haven't mentioned another game in about 25 minutes, so. It was, it was, it was a great-looking game. I forgot what its name it's was called. It's not, it's not on the... It, up there with Nino Cooney and Dragon's Crown, no, I'd definitely pick one of those games. Of it. Uh, but, yeah, Dragon's Crown, just because that vanillaware style that I, yeah. that I just love, but... So, yeah, but between that and Rayman, I'm starting to look at some Rayman Legend screenshots, though, and man, that game. I mean, I, didn't, I, haven't, seen the, bright, I haven't seen the late game Chris. Rayman. Yeah, that game looks Are really good. Are you okay with good. Rayman? Yeah, well, I, I don't know. I've never, I've never seen Nino Cooney. I don't know what it looks like. Let me look it up. <laughs> He's stop, like, stop your He's cookies like, for a Wait a moment. minute. I can solve that problem. I have the now. interwebs right here. Sorry, I was, co- I was cooking cookies. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> the Division. Oh. Oh. Yeah. That's oh. a game, not a cartoon. <laughs> My issues with Dragon's Crown, though, it's a really good-looking I game. I know Vanilla Wear style. I'm still Rayman over Dragon's Crown. But Dragon's Crown has and some Nino weird over damn Crown. body proportions and some weird shots. Where, that so does you David's look at. Michelangelo. That thing's Dragon's like, Crown well, well, will too not many, win too many because muscles of that ass. Way too many muscles. Okay. I think dra- Dragon's Crown, you got your conversation, but... <laughs> 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 we gave you your five minutes. Shut up. I mean, I, I'm not. See, I like the dancing see, mouse. The, the thing with the Nino Cooney in game, it looks great. Those cutscenes look great, but it's like the transition between the two, like it just. I mean, I don't, the, screen, I don't even, the screenshots the thing, look I, really I hate, good. I, I, it's a good. Looking I don't know game. why you have a problem with that. But, <laughs> but that doesn't doesn't really explain itself. But I I get that you felt weird when you when you saw that disconnect. That's, that's yeah. So I guess I'm saying Rayman over Nino. But well, I'm fine with that. I didn't play we'll Rayman, so I can't. I can't say it wasn't okay. as great as Nino Cooney. So, and then we all agree that Last of Us wins. Yeah, really? I, no, I would have. I think I would have said Bioshock. The thing that that gets me with Last of Us is how good it looks on such old hardware. Oh, like yeah. it, it looks like a game that shouldn't belong on that system. Okay. It is a technically is true. impressive. So from yeah, the technically I, impressive yeah, side, yeah, and it I looks watched awesome. that on YouTube on my iPhone, so yeah. I'm gonna retract <laughs> my opinion. Ethan, about Ethan, that Bio, Bioshock had definitely had some areas in the game where I'm like, man, that looks Bioshock fantastic. Some, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say Bioshock had some breathtaking moments, but Last of Us looked. Okay. It looked there's, like my kind yeah. of good. There's it, so it, much it, detail in the yeah. Last of Us. It all looks yeah. good. Last of Us, I think, I feel like it's the first console game I've pushed, in, I've wa- pushed. or played in a while that pushed PC graphics on a console. Since like bold claim, you know, I I think other games I it felt is. kind of that way it was like Rage, looked really good for a console game too. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Best looking game, 2013, The Last of Us. Uh, runners up, tinkle. Bioshock Infinite and Rayman <laughs> Legends. <laughs> <laughs> take the, to take the computer with you. Got to tinkle. <laughs> He's not just using a pee jar like the rest of us? Professional. No. <laughs> Professionalism continues. We'll get started without Tinkle. Or Tingle. Drippy. Call him Drippy. Mr. Drippy. I don't know what made that noise. I don't know either, but I liked it. Uh, <laughs> 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 On to uh, mobile game of the year. Huh. <laughs> huh. <laughs> huh. <laughs> I don't know what the categories are, so every, every one of these is a surprise for Where's me. Where's your precious remember me now? <laughs> All he right. did it again. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't know why that's all of a sudden doing that. Okay, so these are Ethan? these are for Android and iOS games. Uh, we have a separate category for the handhelds. What the about Windows? Windows phone yeah, no games. Windows phone games. Yeah, and you, you can <laughs> nominate away the, all those. Oh. Sh- I don't think I bought any. Assault. Okay. I don't think sucked. I bought any Windows games this year. Uh, the nominees are Tiny Death Star, Ridiculous. <laughs> Oh, wow. No one went for 100? Kingdom Rush. <laughs> it seems... Apparently, mobile games are addictive. Uh, Kingdom Rush Frontiers. Plants vs. Zombies 2. Waka Waka. Um, not nominated... Or not, not receiving votes. Hundreds. Year Walk. Republic. Yeah. Tiny Thief and Re- Device Republic? 6. 
Um, we played a lot of mo- uh, mobile games this year, guys. Puzzle and Dragons. Hmm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Puzzle and Dragons. <laughs> <laughs> I feel really strongly for Tiny Death Star. <laughs> That's like a funny positive. thing. Strike it from the list! <laughs> Get it off of there! <laughs> I won't pretend that that's a great game. I just got addicted yeah, to I it. Yeah, I won't pretend it's great either, but it looks it's also ad- just it a looks re-skinning. adorable. I acknowledge everything It's got this it. charm to it, even mm-hmm. though you're doing the same things that you that's were doing in Tiny, Tiny Tower. Tower. In that regard, so I'm, I'm propping up my, f- oh, my other favorite here. You brought, it, you brought it back, you're going to get rid of... Damn it. <laughs> oh, yeah, just, just, no, no just my vote is elsewhere. Yeah. I'm not gonna so no one played Year Walk? No, actually, hold on. I didn't play Year Walk. Hold on. I regret not playing it now. I played I played Year Walk. But get rid of Did you? Yeah. I like see I like hundreds in Year Walk over Tiny Death Star and Plants vs. Zombies too. <laughs> I might be the only one with Plants vs. Zombies too. You like Plants vs. Zombies too? It's Plants vs. Zombies again. But it's oh, okay. on your phone. Oh, I, so <laughs> I misunderstood. I misunderstood. <laughs> That's the two. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, get get rid of it. Get rid of Plants vs. Give it, give it of Plants vs. Zombies too. Yeah, it won't be game of the year, nor should it be top three. Okay, okay. Wait, so what's hundreds? What's it? Blow like? your mind. A, I'm having trouble googling. It's right there. <laughs> that the, you have. It's right. I see the ad for it. The the one that sp- spells out hundreds up there. There's a bunch of them. In, yeah, yeah, that those. one. The one underneath it, even. Those are all that next yeah. to it. Yeah. Huh. It's a kind of a puzzle game, I guess. Oh, okay. Physics puzzle game. Yeah. Um, so I'll go ahead and cancel out Tiny Death Star. Aww. Ethan, Bye, little I believe later. you're the Kingdom Rush guy, is that really correct? Cute. Yeah. Cute. Um, but compared to some of these other ones, I, it was fine. It was, again, like with Plants for Zombies, it was just like Kingdom Rush. Little little added stuff to it, but I wouldn't argue for it. Okay. We got our three. Got our three. Puzzle and Dragons. All right, let's, let's go shoot mats. some fish out of the air and move on. That's pretty much it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, mobile game of the year. Ridiculous fishing with the runners-up hundreds and year walk. I'm fine with this. I want to play hundreds, though. They won't put it on sale for me. Yeah, this this category <laughs> sale was... Sale prices on mobile was interesting because we could I will only pay a dollar for a votes. game. It's got to be a dollar or free. We didn't have any very many votes, and they were all for ridiculous fishing, so... Yeah. And Tiny Death Star. That's, that's it's puzzles cute. and dragons, Jordan. Yeah, Matt said something about it. I want oh, to look at the, it. The don't, best match three. Don't don't, don't get hooked there. on that. Well, I'm liking all the anime. <laughs> don't go down that road for it. Next up, handheld game of the year. So this is the, <laughs> so these are real games. The Vitas and the, the Nintendos consoles. and the Sonys and the, the okay. real games. Yeah, <laughs> these are free to play games on your phone. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Pokemons. Pokemon. Pokemans. Pokemon. Zelda. Link Between Worlds. There we go. Spelunky Vita. Uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> actually, hold on. Yeah. Don't, don't. Animal Crossing. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, I can't. Uh, Spelunky doesn't need it. Take a shot. So those are the actual three that received votes. Other, <laughs> other nominees, Spelunky, Vita, which I'll count in this cat in this category. Okay. <laughs> uh, Luigi's Mansion, Dark Moon, Fire Emblem Awakening, Tearaway, and Soul Sacrifice. Sad about Tearaway. I feel I just, like I just started playing uh, Aaron Soul and I Sacrifice. could decide how this goes. <laughs> yeah, should, should we just <laughs> let's just give it to New Leaf? No, it's gonna it's gotta be. Right. I think it has to be Zelda. I, I just I don't I can't put Animal Crossing in the finals. <laughs> Oh, you want you want Spelunky over Animal Crossing? I would want Tearaway if I had played it. I, w- I would give you Tearaway if you had played it. Luigi's Mansion. Wait, so you want to get rid of Spelunky, Animal Crossing, and replace with Luigi's Mansion? I'm trying to find that third one. I'm okay with Zelda and Pokemon. Did you play Tearaway? No, no I don't have a Vita. We didn't get to, I didn't, and I didn't get to it. It has potential. I played. I played through the demo. I w- I'm okay with Animal Crossing in the final, per my own right. best of list. But if it bothers you so much, <laughs> no, nah, I just it just seems this is a Nintendo. I, I mean, whatever. I, you just want, whatever. Well, it was like, still. Be, I don't feel strong about Spelunky, so I was. It's kind of your Spelunky call. Vita. I, I don't have a Vita, and it's Spelunky again. 
Well, that was fun. <laughs> Nintendo wins. <laughs> Nintendo wins. Hand Zelda held. wins. I'm basing this based off of, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Zelda, Zelda wins. I played all three Zelda. That wins. was that was a that was a uh, deep conversation here. Yeah. Plus, we play, we play lots of handheld games. Yeah, yeah, we do. I think if we played Tearaway, it would have been on there. I think it, so. it did a good job. I, I mean, th- through the demo, I don't know if they carry it through the whole game. It did a good job of actually using the Vita, like all of its functions. That's what I've heard. From the camera to the touch on the back. Blame so, Josh and Justin. Is Tearaway the one where your face and is everyone. the sun? Yes. Yeah, your face is in the sun. Yeah. And like you. I, I just, I heard like mixed things touch. about the gameplay, so I'm, I'm afraid to just. <clears throat> yeah, I wouldn't throw it in there yeah. if we had yeah. no experience with it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's, right. bad. it's the best. Handheld game. It's the None best game I've, it, I've, I've heard good played. things about it. The best. final one of this batch. Guy in the alley said it was great. We're getting into our multiplayer <laughs> stuff here. Uh, co-op game of the year. So this is all based on its co-op aspects. This is the Coop got game of the year. Payday 2. This is my category. Defiant. My game of the year. Coop game of the I'm year. Of me. <laughs> Saints Row 4. Lego Marvel Superheroes. Monaco. Dead Space 3. Actually, I don't think I ever cooperated in Monaco. Super Mario <laughs> 3D World. <Yeah. laughs> I did. I tried. Stupid dogs. Battle Block Theater. <laughs> and others for consideration. Marvel... Marvel Heroes. That's that's cute. <laughs> Dragon's Crown, <laughs> Rayman Legends, Foul Play, Mercenary Kings, and Risk of Rain. Any other? There are probably other co-op games. There are probably others. I think this list is fine. <laughs> Aaron decrees. <laughs> I decree. <laughs> Let's throw Spelunky on Guild here. Wars. <laughs> it's Dead Space 3 co-op fun. Yeah, it's fun. Is it fun with Nilmar? <laughs> 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 no, yeah, specifically, just, just between us. I've heard that it's fun. I've not experienced the multiplayer fun. Okay. Oh man, this bloop! I had some good times with Defiance, and I only play it because of the co-op. But I, I don't want Defiance. <laughs> I don't. I struggled with Lego Marvel Superheroes co-op, like that camera. Like I love that game, but like, like the actual co-op. Yeah, I had a lot of fun with that. Okay. Monica. I don't know. The only time I played it, okay, I was falling asleep. I'm going to go ahead and mark yeah, off. you guys were all like, yeah. <laughs> Mario 3D <laughs> World and Battle Block. I, I dropped the controller while yeah. I was playing. <laughs> I guess Defiance. Do we got, should we cut Defiance? Uh, if you guys aren't feeling it, I mean, go I'm ahead. Feeling, That's the only one that I really think you guys ever played it again? I'm feeling all of these uh, more than Defiance. Yeah. Yeah. We don't play anymore now. Saints Row 4 is pretty damn fun. I nice. would personally cut Saints Row 4. Matt's wondering about Bordered Lands. Bordered, bordered Lands? No. Bordered Lands 2 well, last year? 2012. Yeah. yeah. The uh, core game. Yeah. Unless Tiny Tina added something co-op specific. Yeah. The DLC. He thought the DLC no. rule uh, yeah. brings it back on the they, table. I guess game of the year. I mean, if it was significant enough DLC, I guess we if could it consider it. If it was significant enough. I want to... But... I, I think yeah. I want to cut Lego. I would I would I would cut Lego. It's I mean Yeah, that makes sense. That was the one I liked on the list. Okay, good. Yeah, good. Take it <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, it's it's the camera system in those Lego games. Yeah. I I've never liked it on any of them. I feel like it's Doesn't it's hard it just to do play. that kind of the it's screen weird, splits like, and the, then it starts the doing wah, wah. Yeah, it's it's weird. Throws me off. Um, I think Payday 2 has to stay. Monaco has to stay. And I think Monaco so, has to stay. So between Saints Row 4 and I Dead, Space cut 3? Dead Space What makes you want to cut Dead Space? Because you don't like because it? Because I haven't tried it to know that I have I would cut it. Saints Row 4 because <laughs> it isn't any different than Saints Row 3. I would cut Saints Row 4 for that reason. Yeah, I agree. Dead Space 3 is is a new it's it's a new co-op experience we haven't experienced. Well, what if it causes me physical pain to admit the co-op that Dead Space might be fun with another person? You have to you have to do what I do and say Dead Space Three is not Dead Space. It's a different game. It's fun. Can we call someone? 
You can call it something else. Space shooter buddy time. Well, no, no more put bench space three. So. Call it snow space. What about yeah. zombie space, space attack? Zombie space attack. Space dude. bench. Space guts. Space guts. Dead bench three. Gun bench three. <laughs> uh, Ethan, were you siding against Saints Row? I, I, to me, I didn't need to play that co-op. It was fun when Aaron and I played it, but I mean, yeah. it, it didn't need to be co-op, you know? Why is uh, Just Cause not on here? <laughs> Just Cause co-op. 2 well, multiplayer mod. Uh, yeah. <laughs> was that really... We, uh, we the, quite okay, tried to cooperate, is, but at any time we yeah. could kill each other. <laughs> yeah, I got you. <laughs> All right. And none of them are the winner. Probably Payday, yeah, payday 2 wins. is probably where I'm at. I think Payday 2. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I like Dead yeah. Space a lot, but but Monaco's better, so winning by. Well, I didn't play Monaco exactly. Payday. But with pay between Dead Space and Payday, Payday, you actually kind of have to play it with somebody else, and Dead Space, you don't really have to. Yeah. So. <laughs> so not, feeling not feeling pretty strong about this category. <laughs> payday two so takes re- the lead. Remember me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, we've got eight awards to go, so we're going to uh, take a little bit of a break here and uh, wrap this up. Whew. <laughs> the energy, Woo. Ooh, not just, really no, starting. no. There's we're just there's some battles coming yeah, up. So just saving, <laughs> saving ourselves, sharpen your teeth. All right.